Fox, you are watching All Around Explain channel and my name is Nikolai Porchukov, I am a developer of Advanced Rendering Options tool and now I want to make a small overview of this plugin. First of all I want to say that I developed this plugin a couple years ago. Firstly it was based on Flywheel Lua script, next it was based on Sassel Lua engine and now I decided to rebuild it because uh, the second version of this plugin isn't compatible with Explain 11.41 and higher. So there are a couple of changes for this plugin and let me show uh, you all of the changes in this small overview. First change is that this plugin isn't free plugin. Now you can buy it on explain.org forum or a sim market shop. Many of you may say that all of the settings in this plugin you may configure by yourself for free uh, using different Lua scripts, using uh, different tweaks on explain.org forum. But let me say that the main concept of this plugin uh, when I decided to make it a couple of years ago was that I want to see all of the data refs in one place uh, and this plugin must give me the possibility to configure all of the visuals using friendly user interface and honestly you may download different Lua tweaks from org forum look uh, inside it using your notepad++ for example uh, editor and uh, configure it on fly using my plugin so let me show you what the plugin is the second change in this plugin is that I divided it by two applications. Now you have offline and online version of this plugin. I did it because uh, after you change some settings in explain you need to reload your scenery or reload your explain. And now you have ARO advanced rendering options launcher. It's a Java file. Cross-platform uh, you can launch it on Windows, Linux, Mac OS and uh, it will help you to configure your explain offline. Here you can see six uh, buttons for presets. You can save preset, load preset. These presets uh, are only for this launcher. You can restore from backup uh, settings.txt file cause this application changes this file and also you can apply settings after you configure it. So here are two tabs world config and shadows and miss config and here you can uh, select what you want to configure let it be objects density you can change the values and see how it will look in uh, explain after you load uh, the explain uh, simulator. For the forest also a couple of settings, for roads, forest visibility, airport detailization, you can see that uh, lines look very good. Also shadows you have here four options. I guess you will choose, all of you will choose superb quality and you will, you will see in the simulator uh, how it looks really in the cockpit and outside the cockpit. Also some MISC settings for explain like uh, forest fires and balloons, birds and deer and so on and so on. You can simply turn it on or turn it off. After you configure this plugin, this offline launcher, you click apply settings and close it. Let's go to the explain and look for the online version of my plugin. So here we are in the Xplane 11 and uh, let me show you the main window for the uh, advanced rendering options. You can go to plugins, advanced rendering options, main window and here is a plugin. Uh, you can see that uh, there are some tabs uh, with uh, different settings of the Xplane. On the first tab called global settings you can see uh, a small group of uh, buttons to save your preset and to load your preset. 
Also you can choose which preset should be loaded on explain stats. For example, if I choose preset 1, if this preset is exist in uh, Aero prefs folder, it will load automatically on explain stats. Also you can show a slider from the right of the window. This slider will help you to call the main window of the plugin without any need to go in plugins, advanced rendering options and so on. Also you can configure the shot key to toggle main window. So there are a few options, you can choose what to what, what you want. Uh, there are two automotive aero functions called dynamic fog and kill sun at night. Uh, as you remember in the last versions of advanced rendering option tool uh, you had only kill sun at night option and um, this feature, when you enable it, disable the sun during the night. Because uh, there is a bug in explain when in the evening you can see the sun shining through the ground from the bottom and uh, it's, it, it looks not so good. So this feature will kill sun at night. <laughs> okay. Dynamic fog also automotive function that configure the fog amount depends on overall visibility of the X-plane, uh, of the weather and so on and so on. There is a small group, it's a new function in uh, advanced rendering option tool uh, called smart preset loading during the flight. If this option is enabled, you can simply choose on which height, on which altitude you would like to load a preset. So uh, here are five possible heights, you can leave only two or three, it doesn't matter. And uh, on the ground you will get preset 1, when your aircraft will pass through 15,500 feet, uh, it will automatically load preset 3, and when you descend through 15500 you will get preset number one and so on and so on so it's very flexible and uh, I hope you like this uh, s small automatic function of advanced rendering option tool let me show you a tab main environment you can configure here different values you can uh, increase or decrease road traffic density you can uh, increase uh, static plane density and you see some statics in the airport and so on and so on. Also for the lights uh, and visibility you can simply increase or decrease distance near, distance far and so on and so on and you can use your um, keyboard to, to input the, the values you would like. Clouds and Atmo tab allows you to configure clouds and atmosphere you can uh, simply play with the values i won't explain all of these settings uh, you you will see it when you change it on fly also there is a post processing tab uh, with uh, some settings you can enable or disable post processing it's a shader based processing you can simply add brightness, contrast, let me show you saturation, you can add some gamma and change this gamma to look, to make explain looks more cinematic. You can add some sharpness and you see the picture simply change on fly. Blue offset, green offset and so on and so on. Also if you would like to compare the settings in this tab you can click compare with the default and you will see, let me show you, you will see how explain default looks from the left and uh, how it looks after you post process this uh, picture this screen uh, in advanced rendering option so so it's from the left a bit gray and boring weather and from the right it looks much much better 
So here is my small overview of this plugin. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you understood. Uh, would you like to buy it? Would you like to have it in your explain folder or not? Thank you very much for your attention, for watching this video. Let me remind you that you were watching all around explain YouTube channel. My name is Nikolai Pershukov. Have a nice day. Have a nice and safe flights. See you. Goodbye.